can you believe in just three seconds we can find out the hcf of different numbers without using pen paper or calculators how in today's uh, video we are going to discuss about these tricks so hello students how are you all hope all of you are doing well in today's class we are going to discuss about the topic that is the shortcut tricks of hcf right so without further delay let's get started so HCF or the conventional method of HCF about this one I have already made a video for you all uh, that you can check from my channel right and uh, today we will uh, discuss the shortcut tricks of HCF. So, so students here is our first example we have to find out the HCF of 12 and 15 right. So how you can find out that just we have to find the difference of between these numbers. What is the difference between these numbers? 3. Right? So that will be our answer. But you need to check one thing over here. That is that number. The difference is the factor of these both numbers. So 3 is a factor of 12 and 15 individually. So 3 is the HCF of 12 and 15 over here. Right? It's very easy. Now the second example. When there are 3 numbers. So in our second example, 3 numbers are there. And let's find the difference of it. Right? Now how you can find out this one? The difference of this 70 and 105 that is 35 and 105 to 175 that is 70 right. So in that time when the two difference is there always you have to choose the smaller one. So 35 is the smaller one over here so you have to choose that and that will be HCF for you all right. So here 35 you need to check one thing over here is that 35 is factors of these three numbers or not. So 35 is factors of 70, 35 also factors of 105 and 35 also factors of 175. So here our HCF would be 35, right? Now here in our third number case, there are three numbers, 50, 60 and 85. Let's find the difference of this between these numbers. So here the difference is 10 and their difference is 25. Right now what we need to do we have to choose the smaller one smaller difference so 10 that will be our answer but here you need to check one thing is that 10 is uh, factors of these three numbers right or not. So 10 is factor of 50 10 is also factor of 60 but here 10 is not a factor of 85 right so we can't take 10 in that case we have to take another step. Or we have to do another step. What is that? We have to find the factors of 10. So factors of 10, 2 fives are 10. So from there, we have to always choose the greater factor. Right. So in third number case, what we are telling to you that always find the difference between the difference this one. Choose the smaller difference that is 10. And now if this difference, smaller difference is not the factors of all the numbers, then you have to find the factors of it. And now choose the greatest factor. What is the greatest factor over here? 5. Now check, is this 5 is factors of all those numbers or not? So 5 is factors of 50. 5 is also factors of 60. And 5 is also factor of 85. So here our HCF would be right so till now we discuss three different methods what are those the first one only find the difference and you will get that answer right in second number of case first there are three numbers in second uh, example uh, there are three numbers you have to find the difference between of these three numbers and choose the smaller one right and check is the smaller difference is factors of all those numbers or not right and in third number case we have already find the difference between these three numbers but here is one uh, twist is there that the this one the smaller one when the smaller difference when it's not a factor of all those numbers so in that case we have to find out the factors of that smaller numbers so here 10 is our smaller difference and we have already calculated the factors of it 2 and 5 and choose the greater factors or greater factors among them so in between 2 and 5 what is there so 5 is the greatest one between these two numbers so 5 is uh, factors of three numbers so 8 same would be 5 right so now 
in our fourth number case, there are three numbers 10, 50 and 120. Let's find the difference of it. So the difference between these numbers is 40 and here the difference between these numbers is 70. Now we have to choose the smaller one that is 40. Now we have to check is this 40 is factors of 10, 50 or 120 or not. So 40 is the factors of only 120. It's not the factors of 50 and 10. So in that case, we have to find the factors of 40. But in uh, 40, there are numerous, uh, you can say the factors are there for 40. So let's find out all the factors of 40. So we can represent 40 as 2 into 20, 4 into 10, and also 5 8s are 10. Right? or among these three factors you have to find the greatest factor so here is the greatest factor is 20 right but 20 is factors of 10 no 20 is factors of 50 no but 20 is factors of 120 so we can't take 20 right because it's not the factors of all the numbers given there so now we have to choose the second second largest one so there is 10 so 10 is a factor of 10 yes 10 is a factor of 50 obviously and 10 is also a factor of 120. So our answer will be 10. So here HCF would be 10. Right? So we have discussed four different methods of HCF to find the HCF. Right? In a very shortcut method and one another one is also there that is number 5 number method. What is there? So in our fifth number example, I have taken three uh, numbers over here, 11, 15 and 16. So if you uh, observe these numbers, then you can easily tell that uh, this is the pair of co-prime numbers. So see 11, 15 and 16, there are no common factors among them, right? When the we uh, got some pair of uh, the co-prime numbers, in that case, always our HCA should be one, right that is our answer so students uh, hope all of you enjoyed today's class see you in the next class students bye and that is for today